guys, it's Handy from PvP Xbox 360 here, and I'm finally bringing you another Minecraft video. The first one was the trailer for our remake of The Walls. Um, it hasn't hit 20 likes yet, so I uh, can't release it for free, but get your friends to like it, and I will. But today I'm going to bring you a tutorial on my auto wheat farm. Um, I made this all myself, but I got some inspiration from uh, some people on YouTube as well, just the basic idea of it. So I'm just going to take you through the steps of building it and hopefully uh, I'll be quite clear and you can build it yourself. So first off what we got here is the start of it. What this is is the water beneath the grass blocks. So it would be like this. So this keeps grass or the um, moisturized so it makes the wheat grow quicker. So you, you can do yours any size you want but this is a recommended one. It's a 4x3 and it goes up for two rows. So that's the basic idea. Uh, just stand here for a second if you want to copy it you can see the dimensions clearly here so it's like four there and about six back there so yeah that's the first bit the next bit we're going to do is the redstone now how this works is um it's inverted so where the pistons are up and when the pistons are down it'll release the water i can't really show you here because uh because it's in the next ones but you can see here you've got three redstone repeaters powered the piston and then three bits of redstone behind then it's linked to a torch um, what, what I'd usually do here like here is there'd be a redstone uh, line and it would go to the piston here at uh, the lever here and you pull that and water down but I'll show you that in a minute so the next bit is actually putting the grass blocks in, which I've done here. And I built the wall quite high, so uh, as you can see in this one, it's got glass there, so you can easily get through here and replant the seeds. Uh, if you're if you're wondering, no, there is no way on Minecraft you can replant like it can automatically replant your seeds. So this is this is pretty much the only work you have to do with this uh, with this wheat farm. But here's uh, the water which actually comes down and destroys all the wheat. You see here the pistons are up. If I show you down here, it's, just, it's the same as that one. You can see I just put blocks over it. So the pistons are up and when the lever's pulled, the pistons come down and then the water floods out and gets all the wheat and brings it towards uh, you, which I'll show you in a minute. So anyway, moving on. We've actually got uh, the thing here, Oops. so this is, this is fully working so I can show you, I'll just get some glass to replace it. So it's very simple, you can, like over here I've made four in a kind of a cross uh, pattern kind of thing, or whatever is symbol, don't care. Um, so what happens, you pull the lever and you see the pistons come down and the water comes down, just put the fence here to stop it from getting a redstone but that's basically how it works so that that's not the hardest bit, the hardest bit is with the signs and you see if you pull it again it'll do that um, for anyone that doesn't know if you put two signs like one at the bottom here, one at the top and then you put water there it actually stops the water from going anywhere, signs stop water from going anywhere and you see here um, we have one sign on the wall and then if you put a sign on top of the sign so like like this so you don't get confused so if you had a sign there and then you put a sign on the sign you see it comes out like that but if you delete that one that one goes as well so this is very useful for the thing I'm using anyway and basically this is just to show again how this works that's when it's normal it's powered levers pulled redstone torch turns off because of the charge going to it 
and that turns this off. So hopefully you understand that. Right, and now we're getting on to the main thing. This is a uh, one I have on my map. Um, it's just it's just that, but there's four ones and it meets in the middle. So I'll show you what happens first. Uh, it's the same. I replanted everything. Um, you have to go down the ladders to plant everything because obviously it doesn't replant itself. Um, this this is the only thing I could do. So uh, you just have to jump up here and go up here. Because otherwise, when the water comes down, it'll get trapped if uh, there's a block here. So I'll show you how it works now. <coughs> so there's four, there's four different um, compartments to this, and down here is four different levers. This is because um, not all wheat grows at the same time. So like say this one, this could be fully grown, this could uh, could not be fully grown, so what you have to do, say if you want just this one to come down as you can see it's lane 3 so what you do is you go down here and you just uh, pull the lever that says lane 3 so you just pull that one and it comes down but I'll, I'll pull it in a minute just to show you um, there are a few things with this uh, one of the things is um, like when when you pull it in, some wheat doesn't come down. I don't know if it gets destroyed or what, but that's just one of the problems. But I'll just show you what happens to the wheat. So the wheat falls down here, and as you can see, it gets pulled into this water current I've done, and I can't fit through there, but the wheat can. So it just goes down there with the water flow and it um, goes to where the uh, levers I showed you. Now, <coughs> uh, here, this is like the water for under the wheat so it can grow quicker, as you can see. But the thing is, if I, if I didn't put signs here, it would just be like a normal water like that. It would be still water. So what what you have to do is like I showed you earlier, you have to put signs around to stop that water from falling. So you can't put blocks there otherwise the front ones can be able to grow quickly. So you just put signs to stop the water from going now. So you can have a quick look at that. Here in the middle, what I've done is I put one sign there and I put one sign on it. And again, like I showed you earlier. Now down here, this is very simple. Uh, what you have is you have the main current here. So, at any place the wheat falls down, it's going to be dragged into the middle and then dragged down there. So what I've done is I just uh, made one hole here, and then three holes either side. And you put one water there, 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 there. And it creates a current that should be like this that drags the uh, hold it that drags the wheat down there. But I'll show you it actually working. So yeah. Uh, now I'll pull the levers. You can see all the wheat's growing. So I've milled it. Oh, it could have been really dodgy then. <laughs> right. So first I'll show you like actually now I'll just pull it all. So pull it. Oh yeah, the second thing that's uh, bad with this is it lags quite a lot when you pull the water in. Uh, but here comes the wheat. As you can see, it's kind of lagging on my screen. Lots of wheat. Um, trying to do some maths in my head on how much you get. I think you should get 96 wheat for, uh, as long as they're all grown. But as I said, some of them get destroyed somehow. So you just pull that up and that stops the water from playing. How much we've got there? Got 79 wheat. I know it's not the full one, but I, I, I just don't know what's up with it. I don't know if it's if this works on the computer. Uh, but oh well you still get quite a lot of wheat stacking a bit. Then what you do is you just obviously go and replant them. So thanks for watching my tutorial. Um, Oh yeah, if you're just wondering where to put the water here, just put it up there. So hopefully that'll be fine.
Uh, if you have any questions, leave them in the comments below and I shall answer. So thank you for watching and goodbye.